everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Mucho Mojo by Joe Lansdale. This is, of course, the second book in the Hap and Leonard series. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so first off, this is, so far, there's only one other book before this one, but this is my favorite in the series thus far. Um, I'm going to go ahead, for those of you who just want to get in here and get my my rating and get out, I'm giving this book a full five stars. It is hilarious from start to finish, and the plot, the, uh, the, the stuff that's going on in the book is far more interesting to me than anything in the first book, even though I gave the first book four stars, because it was so funny, the writing was so good. Again, I listened to this one on Scribed. If you would like a free month of Scribed, um, you get a free month using the link down there in the doobly-doo, and my kids get a free month, so you're helping support my kids' reading habits. Um, you don't have to keep it past those 30 days. Just get your free trial. You can cancel it the day after if you want to. It's still good for those 30 days so that you don't forget and they end up getting your money anyways. But I appreciate you if you choose to do that. Um, now back to the review. Uh, this book is about uh, Hap and Leonard going after uh, Leonard's, uh, not going after, but investigating uh, the life of his uncle. Um, and with it, may he may or may not have been a pedophile. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of red herrings in the book. It was really fun to read and try to puzzle out the mystery and see how Hap comes along, you know, all these little tidbits. One thing I want to note is Florida is a fucking amazing character. Um, that is one of the best characters I have ever, ever read, period. She is so nuanced. Her issues with dating Hap... Um, all this, uh, everything that happens in there, the, the race relations and the discussions about, I especially enjoyed because I'm a white man who married a black woman and both of my kids are of course mixed, but re reading that and those are some of the things, I never asked these questions, but these were some of the things that um, were brought up early on in the relationship about, you know, how people look at you or what they think or how judgmental they are if you're in an interracial relationship. Um, I really, really appreciated that. Um, the, the way it all plays out was, it, it's just very poignant and I appreciated that section of the book. I don't want to give any spoilers, but Florida was the, the bee's knees. <laughs> did I just use bee's knees? Yes, I did. Anyways, she was fantastic. She was tremendous. Um, favorite character in the book by far. Um, another thing that I will mention once again is the, the, it's, this book is hilarious. There's especially a scene in a bar that felt so much, well, I don't want to say it felt like Angel and Louie from the Charlie Parker books by John Connolly, but I, it, he, John Connolly had to have based these characters, Hap and Leonard, oh no, his, his characters, Angel and Louie on Hap and Leonard. They are so so, so similar. The only thing missing here is Charlie Parker, is an outsider um, who is the main character, where this this is kind of like my, my dream come true, because I want, I would love an entire series with Angel and Louie, and I'm kind of getting that with Hap and Leonard. Um, I love noir with, with, with comedy, as long as the comedy does not take away from the noir. Um, I mentioned this in my review of Chad Lutsky's uh, blah, 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 The Neon Owl. Um, I felt there was too much comedy and the underlying plot was... Uh, it, something was taken away from that because of the comedy. Whereas in this one, it worked perfectly. And that's that's rare that someone gets it right. Chad Lutsky is a fantastic author. I'm not, I'm not downing on him whatsoever. I still gave his book four stars. But in this one, there was a perfect balance of darkness and comedy. Anytime it got too dark, it got funny. Anytime it got too funny, it got dark. A perfect balance, and I hope I see that uh, coming, you know, I'm, we're going to be starting, uh, what is it, the Two Bear Mambo next week. Um, I, I feel, and you blow right through these because they're so easy to read. Also, I have them on, uh, on Scribe, so I have, I turn it up to times two or sometimes times three. With this one, I do times three because Joe Landale, Lansdale's writing is so, so good. But times one or 1.5 will put me to sleep. Uh, anyways, so have you read the Happen Leonard series, this book specifically? Have you read this one? What'd you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you feel meh? If you felt any of those things, explain why you felt those things so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, 
You've been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.